It's Nern TV! Hello mga katropa! Ayos ba tayo dyan? Ako, ayos lang ako dito sa San Diego, California. Welcome to my channel, Nern TV! Ito po si Kamiyong. At ngayon po ay meron tayong importanteng topic. Ang topic ngayon ay The Case for the Gregorian Calendar. Okay, so basically, no, ang pag-uusapin natin ngayon ay tama ba o mali ang Gregorian Calendar? At para sa akin, merong tama sa Gregorian Calendar. Pero, mas marami pang mali at yun ang pag-uusapan natin If you are a subscriber, welcome back! Pero kung bago pa lang kayo sa aking channel please like and subscribe to support my channel at marami kayong matututunan dito Ah, sarap! Chocolate <clears throat> Uh, kung matagal na kayong naka nanonood ng aking mga videos tungkol sa Biblical Calendar or Enoch Calendar, maring uh, napansin na ninyo na ang reference na ginagamit ko ay ang Gregorian Calendar para ma-confirm uh, ma -confirm yung, yung calendar. Kung tama nga ba o mali. So, being that as it may, syempre magtatanong kayo, well, if uh, the Gregorian calendar is already correct, what's the point of uh, studying the uh, biblical calendar, right? So, that's also one of the things that uh, we're gonna talk about. I am going to try to answer three important questions that I think are relevant to this topic. Uh, tatlong tanong ang gusto kong masagot dito sa video na to. Number one is, why is the Gregorian calendar correct? Bakit tama ang Gregorian calendar? That's one question. Second question is, why is it not correct? Bakit mali? Tama siya, pero mali siya. <laughs> And lastly, I'm gonna try to answer the question, why do we need to learn or study the biblical calendar? Ano ang importansya noon sa ating spiritual life? Okay, so... Let's get on with it. Okay, so here we are in my studio again and in front of my computer. And uh, the first thing I want to do is answer the question, Why do I think is the Gregorian calendar correct? Okay, and uh, my explanation is simple and... Uh, The way that I think I can explain this is by uh, showing it in the Stellarium software. So uh, let's start with the Stellarium software here. I'm gonna run the Stellarium software. And as you can see here, this is how it looks like, looks like at the start. Okay, so By using the Stellarium software, I can prove that the Julia or the uh, Gregorian calendar is correct simply by looking at this time frame, March 19 at sunrise. Okay, so here we are looking at uh, March 19. And as we've uh, already discussed before, March 19 is an equinox. And let's adjust this so that we can fully see it. 
So here is the equinox during sunrise, and as you can see, here is east, right? If I go another year, 2024, okay, and adjust the time for sunrise, you will see that the general position of the sun is still there. It's still an equinox. What I'm trying to say is that on March 19, here in San Diego, at sunrise in every year, there is always an equinox. So, my point is this. If the Gregorian calendar is incorrect, then I won't be able to observe the spring equinox at the same dates. It will be different dates because it will be wrong, right? But then because it always shows up at the same day, at the same time, okay, that makes the Gregorian calendar correct because it is stable, because uh at certain at a certain date it's always there naintindihan niyo ba ibig kong sabihin kung mali ang kalenda ang gregorian calendar hindi ko makikita itong uh, date na ito hindi ko makikita itong uh, phenomenon na to pero dahil tama ang dates ng gregorian calendar tama na 365 Point twenty five days a year tayo, nakikita natin itong fenomena na to. Imagine kung mali ang calculation ng Gregorian calendar, then mali lahat. Hindi tatama. Walang tatama. Diba? That's why I think the Gregorian calendar is correct because it is uh, stable. So, in short, mga katropa, kung mali ang Gregorian calendar, then uh, walang basis yung research ko. Malit, mali lahat. <laughs> Buti na lang tama ang Gregorian calendar. Kung, kasi kung hindi, I won't be able to reconstruct the biblical calendar because I will not know which day the equinox would be. And in order for me to find out, I will have to go out every year uh, on top of a mountain somewhere and physically observe the sun as it rises every day. Just so I can figure out which day is the actual spring equinox. You get it? Diba? Kung mali ang kalendar, mali lahat <laughs> ang ginagawa ko. <laughs> so, do you agree with my assumptions? Please, write your comments down below and tell me what you think. So, mga katropa, you know, uh, yun po ang dahilan kung bakit ang, sa tingin ko, eh, tama ang Gregorian calendar. Kasi, predictable yung mga uh, dates, ibig sabihin, at certain dates, you can expect certain things, like the spring equinox. Okay, now I'm gonna try to ask, answer that question, why is it wrong? Well, the main reason why it's wrong is because it is not in sync with the uh, heavenly sign. The heavenly sign is the spring equinox and the day after the equinox is the start of the biblical year. But the Gregorian calendar does not start there. It starts January 1st, which is really a uh, non-biblical day or insignificant, biblically insignificant day. So that's why it's not in sync. The other reason is because it carried it, uh, the, the Gregorian calendar was a carryover from the Julian calendar, which was a lunar calendar that initially makes it wrong. 
because it carried over the names of the deities for the months you know the false gods and uh and uh you know the false uh gods of the days you know that's the deities and everything i don't really understand how all these things are all i know is that those names are not biblical <laughs> all right so here i have a video that's gonna i think gonna explain to you a brief history of the gregorian calendar and why i think it is wrong the date, the date of the 4th of october 1582 on this day pope gregory the 13th initiated the gregorian calendar today the gregorian calendar also sometimes referred to as the christian calendar is the most widely used in the world before the gregorian calendar was adopted much of the christian world used the julian calendar which had been in use since 45 years before christ Christian leaders wanted to keep Easter tied to spring, however began to see a drift in Easter's placement due to it. So yes, you can see, sa umpisa pa lang nakikita na nila merong error doon sa kalendaryo nila kasi nag-drift, nagbabago-bago yung date ng Easter. The date being governed by the vernal equinox and the Julian calendar's gaining of one day on the tropical or solar year every 128 years. Uh, they also tried to use what they call the vernal equinox, which is uh, some uh, odd way of looking at the sun and and uh, and the moon together, right? And that's the vernal equinox. Uh, <laughs> I just don't agree with that. Although the Julian calendar uses a leap year system very much like the Gregorian calendar, the Gregorian system emits a leap year, a year with an extra day occurring every four years, every 400 years. The Julian calendar averages out at being 365.25 days long, which is actually several minutes longer than the tropical calendar. In comparison, the Gregorian calendar is on average 365.2425 days long. This minute difference means that instead of gaining an extra day, in comparison to the tropical year, every 128 years, the Gregorian calendar instead gains a day only every 3,226 years. <laughs> so, as you can uh, uh, see in this presentation, there were a lot of errors in this calendar. They kept correcting this, they kept correcting that. You know, they were late 11 days, they were over 10 days. So something like that. It's like just... You know, they, they're all messed up. That's why I'm saying the, the months are all garbled. As well as being 10 minutes and 48 seconds shorter than the Julian calendar, the Gregorian calendar also skipped 10 days to compensate for the drift, meaning Thursday the 4th of October, 1582. Like I said, there were a lot of errors in this calendar. was followed by Friday the 15th of October, 1582. Although named the Gregorian calendar after then Pope Gregory the 13th, the forms were largely based on modifications suggested by Aloysius Lilius. And I can only imagine how far uh, wrong uh, uh, they have been able to keep track of the years because of all the uh, the mistakes of this calendar. So, like I said, you know, the year 2023, 2024 may, may not be the right year after all. Authored by he and Christopher Clavius. The calendar was at first adopted only by Catholic countries, but went on to become common use in Protestant countries too, and later by almost every country in the world. Everything becomes history. And so, uh, tulad nga ng nasabi ko, no, ang uh, Gregorian calendar na nanggaling sa Julian calendar uh, ay isang pagan calendar. At uh, nasa scriptures mismo nakasulat na itong mga pagan calendars na to, ang ginagamit nila ay ang buwan. They use the moon to create their calendars, which is wrong. Because according to the scriptures, 
you are not supposed to use the moon in any way to affect the calendar. And the thing is, they keep doing it. They and I guess it's because you know the Pharisees who started this and the and the pagans who never read the uh, scriptures. Uh, they just never. They never listened. They never listened to uh, what was told to them. Instead, they kept using the lunar, uh, the the moon. They kept using the moon to uh, affect the calendar, and that's where they all went wrong. So, why is the Gregorian calendar wrong? It has smears of the uh, lunar calendar in it. You know, nabahiran. Nabahiran ng pagkakamali ng isang pagan calendar. Now we come to the last question that I wanted to answer. And that is, why do we need to study the biblical Bible? Well, I am going to be straightforward. We need to study the biblical calendar for our salvation. Sa tingin ko, yun ang paraan natin para makabalik sa kanya. Kasi for thousands of years, you know, since uh, the death of the Messiah and the uh, destruction of the seven ecclesias in Asia Minor, now we know as Turkey, since that time, nobody has really believed in the real uh, God. The personal relationship that we're supposed to have with our God has disappeared. Mainly because, for one factor, the calendar. Why? Because we are not able to celebrate the feasts, you know, the appointed times. We are not observing it. And as a matter of fact, Fourth Commandment states that we should obs uh, remember, we should remember the Sabbath and to keep it holy, right? Well, how can you remember the Sabbath if you don't know when it is? Please Now, of course, subscribe. there are uh, other uh, religions that uh, claim, they claim that Saturday is the Sabbath, okay? Coming from a Pharisee who said that, I mean, really, you're gonna believe it? <laughs> Or maybe he was saying the right, he was saying uh, the truth. But he said that thousands of years ago. And if you will remember, the calendars have been changing here and there, okay, forgotten, okay, and then uh, recreated, uh, brought back to life, changed, rever reserved, reversed whatever, right? And, and that's what's happened uh, the whole time we were here on earth. We've been messing up with the calendar. We messed up so much, we don't know the exact year that we are in. Okay? Even the year that I'm using right now, 6896, Anumundi, is, you know, it's just a, uh, it's just a guess, you know, because we've lost track of time. And that's why it's important to reset the biblical calendar so that we can once again start to uh, celebrate the appointed times. You know, starting from the Passover and the, uh, the Feast of Unleavened Bread, right? And then the uh, resurrection or the feast of first fruits and then Shavuot or the feast of weeks also known as the day of covenant renewal right the uh, 
Feast of Trumpets in the fall, uh, the fall seasons, okay? The fall feast, okay? The uh, Day of Atonement, very important, okay? And then the Feast of Tabernacles, okay? The birth of Israel, right? All those things are appointed times that we do not uh, celebrate. And these happen to be God's appointed feasts. So, that is what's really happening in the world right now. The feasts have been replaced by the doctrines of men. So, it's important that we learn more about the biblical calendar so that we can go back. We can come back to his fold, okay? To his council, okay? And be saved. And that is the key to our salvation. So, is it important to learn about the biblical calendar? Of course! Of course it's important. It has to do with your eternal life. Don't forget to click on the notification bell. Thank you again for watching. Please support our channel by liking, subscribing now. It's free. Yeah, mga katropa, hanggang dito na lang. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.